I'm going to say something, and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. So all of you should teach your kids how to code. I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. Well, I think more kids should learn to program, learn to code, and you'll be employed for the rest of your life. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. Jensen Huang says the old way of coding is dead. He's the CEO of NVIDIA, the world's most valuable company, and the chip maker powering AIs like ChatGPT. So what should you study now? If you work in tech or want to, this video is for you. By the end, you'll know how to stay relevant in the AI era and what Jensen says you should study. For years, the advice was simple. Learn to code and you can get a high paying job. Now Jensen says, our job is to build computers so people don't have to program. He calls AI the great equalizer. The programming language is now human. Translation, you'll program by talking and showing examples in your natural language not by writing code. For example, use your own language, English, Spanish, Hindi, to talk to the AI and create apps, but don't panic. He's not saying skills don't matter. He's saying the skill mix is changing. Old rule, learn programming languages, spend days building an app. New rule, speak your native language to state your goal, steer the model and ship results fast. But if anyone can talk to computers, how do you stay valuable? Three skills, continuous learning, prompting, and building T-shaped skills, deep in one area, broad across others. Tech cycles used to move in years. Now, AI model updates land in weeks, and jobs across many fields feel it. Big tech is cutting and reshaping teams. In June 2025, Google offered an optional pay-to-leave deal across divisions. Microsoft has cut 15,000 plus roles globally since May. Meta made new cuts and targeted about a 5% trim in 2025. AI is automating tasks across many roles, not just support. Pieces of legal work, radiology reads, product management, marketing, and junior coding now happen with AI, with senior people reviewing the results. And 40% of employers in the World Economic Forum's 2025 Future of Job Survey say they expect smaller teams over the next few years as AI does more of the heavy lifting. Jarvis, you up? For you, sir, always. This is the beginning of a new industrial revolution, and this industrial revolution is about the production, not of energy, not of food, but the production of intelligence. We're seeing several AI revolutions happening at the same time. AI for language, AI for biology, learning the language of proteins and, and chemicals, uh, AI for physical sciences, learning the AI of climate, materials, energy discovery, AI of IoT, the language of keeping places safe, computer vision and such, um, AI for IoT, AI for robotics and autonomous systems, manufacturing and such. There's AI revolutions happening, AI great breakthroughs happening in all of these different domains. You now have to keep your skills up to date continuously even if you're in a job. If you learn once and coast, you fall behind. Do this weekly. Spend 15 to 60 minutes to build your AI skills. You can get AI to solve problems and build apps in your own language. To get the best results, use prompting, the right way to talk to it. Prompting isn't magic. It's clear thinking in a structured format so the AI model understands. Use this five-step prompt framework. Taco Revit, task, context, Reference, evaluate, iterate. To remember it, picture asking a friend named Taco to rev the car. Task, tell the AI exactly what to do. Start with a verb, add a persona, who it should act as, and the output format you want. Context, what the AI needs to know before doing the task. Include the situation, audience, constraints, and goals. Say who it's for, why it's needed, where and how it will be used, and any guardrails like tone, length, region, legal, and brand guidelines. Reference, give examples of what good looks like, paste samples, links, style notes, or data the model should follow. If you don't have any, leave it blank. Evaluate, always check the output. 
No AI model is perfect. These models are trained on huge datasets and made up facts can sneak in. Ask, is it accurate? Is it unbiased? Is it complete? Is it relevant to my task? Did the AI hallucinate? If I run this again, is it consistent? Iterate, if the output you got is not right, tweak the prompt and try again. Start simple, refine after each run. Maybe you missed a key detail or the tone is off. Adjust and rerun. T-shaped means being deep in one area and broad across others. Deep is whatever you're a subject matter expert in. It earns you trust. Broad means enough knowledge in other areas to talk with experts and solve problems together. And today, one of those broad skills needs to be using AI. Example, deep in data analysis, broad in UX, finance, and AI. For tech workers, pick a T. Deep examples could be back-end performance, data modeling, site reliability engineering, UX design, security, revenue ops. Broad examples, prompting, basic Python or JavaScript glue, data basics, CSV to SQL, product sense, privacy checks, cost and latency trade-offs. For tech wannabes, first job path, deep. A domain you know, health, finance ops, supply chain, customer support. Broad, prompting plus automation tools like Zapier or make plus spreadsheets, plus simple APIs. You become the person who connects the dots and ships outcomes. Why this wins in the AI era? If everyone can talk to computers, your domain depth is the moat. If models shift weakly, your breadth helps you pivot fast. Teams shrink, integrators rise, T-shapes are integrators. What Jensen signals next, he keeps pointing to digital biology and other high impact fields. If you love health, energy, materials, your T can be deep there and AI will amplify you. Mini exercise. Write your T in the comments. Top of the T, deep. I'm the person for fill in the blank. Bar of the T, broad. I can also do and to ship. So if I was going to choose a uh, major in university as a degree that I'm going to pursue, what would you give me as an advice for something to pursue? If I were starting all over again, um, I would realize uh, one thing that one of the most complex fields of science is the understanding of biology, human biology. Not only is it complicated because it's so diverse, so complicated, so hard to understand, living and breathing, it is also incredibly impactful. Complicated technology, complicated science, incredibly impactful. For the very first time, and, and remember, we call this field life sciences. And we call drug discovery, discovery, as if you wander around the universe and all of a sudden, hey, look what I discovered. Nobody in computer science, nobody in computers, and nobody in the traditional industries that are very large today, nobody says car discovery. We don't say computer discovery. We don't say software discovery. We don't go home and say, hey, honey, look what I found today. This piece of software, we call it engineering. And every single year, our science our computer science, our software becomes better and better than the, than the year before. Every single year, our chips get better. Every single year, our infrastructure gets better. However, life sciences is sporadic. If I were to do it over again right now, I would realize that the technology to turn life engineering, life science to life engineering is upon us. And that digital biology will be a field of engineering, not a field of science. It will continue to have science, of course, but not a field just of science in the future. And so uh, I hope that, that this is going to start a whole generation of people who enjoy working with proteins and chemicals and, and enzymes and um, materials, and, and they're engineering these amazing things that are more energy efficient, that are lighter weight, that are stronger, that are more sustainable. All of these inventions in the future are going to be part of engineering, not scientific discovery. Comment T-shape. Then tell me your deep area and three broad skills you'll add in the next six weeks. I'll pin the best plans and make a follow-up with your examples. Want a weekly AI skills update you can use right away? Subscribe, stay sharp, ship value, stay human. If you liked this video, you'll love the next one. YouTube's AI picked it for you. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you in the next video.